certainly sense a growing need, both within the church and outside the church, for people just to have space and, and indeed silence. Um, the response was actually overwhelming. Um, uh, far more people came than we'd anticipated with, with relatively little publicity. Um, and after the first event that we did, uh, many people said, please, will you continue this? My sense is that there's a growing need throughout society for silence. Uh, lots of people are interested in things like meditation. Um, and uh, the church uh, certainly has its own tradition of Christian meditation, contemplative prayer, and so on. And so some of the people who will be coming to these events will be regular churchgoers. Uh, but there are vast numbers of people uh, for whom the church just seems to be irrelevant. And yet they have a very strong sense of spirituality, very interested in meditation and so on. There's an openness so that people of all backgrounds, all faiths, uh, all persuasions can feel comfortable in the silence. So, so I give a brief talk at the beginning and then we, we have a period of guided meditation, some, um, some music, some solo violin music which just allows the building to, to come alive in a different way, some readings um, just to help sustain the silence and then at the very end uh, a very brief um, act of prayer to, to, to end the day with some, some music and lighting of candles and so on.